Community Edition 1.7.0.2. Um, just going to start pretty simple. Okay, so first thing we want to do is go to magentocommerce.com and go to download the actual files. So you go to download Community Edition and we're going to go and download the 1.7.0.2 zip file. Okay, click on download. Okay, and I'm going to actually pause it because I've already downloaded it and we want to speed up this video a little bit so people don't get bored. Okay, uh, the next step we want to do is actually use our favorite um, FTP client. So right now I'm using w WSFTP. There's some free ones, uh, but just go ahead and upload the zip file to your server. And right now uh, I've already actually uploaded it. So this is the file we just downloaded. And what I want to do is actually do one more thing to save a little time, which is instead of just unzipping the Magento files on your computer and then uploading all of them, it's much, much easier and a, a lot quicker to keep the zip file on your server and then upload a very simple uh, unzip file in PHP to unzip it and save a ton of time, probably about a half an hour on, on my uh, internet connection because there's just so many Magento files. Okay, so very simple, you know, unzip, system unzip, and the file name. Okay, so I'm going to run the file right now. Okay, we're going to go to the browser. Okay. and unzip and it'll take a little time depending on the server you have so uh, this server currently is a shared server with GoDaddy uh, it's pretty slow but it you know it, it'll, it'll do the job for the installation and it will go over a few things so uh, probably it'll take I don't know maybe 30 seconds or so and then after it's unzipped we'll just check it and we'll go to the next step which is actually creating a database so I'm actually gonna do a database right now and then we'll check it later save some time okay so right now I'm in GoDaddy hosting I'm just gonna select my hosting account and go to the bottom of the page to open a new MySQL database okay so I clicked on it and I click on add okay and I'm gonna actually do this so um, friendly name just for ourselves so Magento community edition test and the database name I've just created a new one I've already created a file which I'm keeping all the information okay so username password and I'm gonna click on OK okay Okay, so you want to ob obviously keep all this information in the file so you can use it later on. Okay, so database is being set up and it's going to take a little time. Let's go back and looks like everything was unzipped. You see there's a lot of files, a lot of output. So I'm going to go refresh the server and I do see that it opened inside a Magento folder everything we need. Cool. So now um, we want to go back and get the information from the database and just start the installation very very simple okay so let's go back and it's still pending setup okay so we're gonna wait a few more seconds and uh, just one more thing while it's it's pending uh, what I want to mention is this installation is just for, for installing on the server we didn't install any uh, test data which is gonna be another video we're gonna create okay so looks like it finished Oh. Actually, it didn't. Um, I guess it just refreshed and it's still working. So we're going to wait a little while. And um, while we wait, what we're going to do is go to the installation, start the next step, and go to the installation. So the folder that we did was slash Magento. And this is our first screen for the installation wizard. So let's start and do what we can till the database finishes in, in installing. Okay. First step, localization for me, English, LA is good, US dollar currency, that's fine. 
and the database information. So um, let's go back and get the information here. Let's try to refresh it. See, is anything still pending setup? So let's put whatever we can. Um, GoDaddy's typically their database name and username are the same for shared hosting. So I'm going to put that uh, password. Okay, and we need to wait for the local host because on the shared hosting, it's not on the local host. Uh, it uses a complete different URL. Okay, and in the meantime, this is our base URL. It's fine, and for default, we'll keep everything the same. Um, obviously, later on, you want to include a SSL, and everything default should be fine just for a quick installation. Okay, so all we need is the host name. Okay, and still waiting a little bit. Okay, so obviously the GoDaddy shared hosting is a little slow. And okay, we got it. So what I want to do is get the details of the host name right here. I'm going to put it in my file as well host name and go here host and next step Okay, so now it's just uh, installing the database, putting all the information it needs, and it should take a few more seconds, and then we're going to be able to get to the last step, which is uh, just confirm and check that the website looks cool, looks good. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty basic stuff. Okay, so this is the next step, admin account, and we're almost finished. Okay, so I'm going to write my name, Ori and test t email info astro.com username let's just call it ori t and i'm going to save this in my username in my file pass and just create a random one right now okay password password and for the encryption key we're going to we can let the system uh, create its own, but we do need to save it. So I'm going to click on continue. And I'm going to save the encryption key. Okay, right here. And just click on go to front end. And the website's live. That's it. Everything works. Uh, we did a quick installation, and I'm going to follow up with some more videos. Uh, and also detailed screenshots and uh, text and um, more information on all the steps. And hope you liked it. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.